In this video, we will be covering the basics on how to use the Explain Everything app, an easy to use design, screencasting, and interactive whiteboard tool that lets you annotate, animate, narrate, import, and export almost anything. Perhaps you want to annotate a student paper while offering constructive audio feedback. Maybe you want to create an interactive video or animation to show at the start of class. To get us started, open the Explain Everything app and you will be taken to the main home screen. All projects you create will be housed here. Touch the plus sign in the upper left hand corner to create a new blank project. Select your color template. Alternatively, you can create a new project by importing any existing files such as photos, PDFs, or PowerPoints by touching the paper icon. You can also delete projects by pressing and holding down the specific project. A red X will appear. Touch that to delete the desired file. The toolbar is located on the left-hand side of the screen. The hand tool located here allows you to freely move objects or drawings around the screen. You can even scale or rotate an object by pinching, expanding, or rotating it with two fingers. Note selecting this tool turns off any other active tools. The draw tool selects the pen. You can press and hold to choose the pen thickness. The tool beneath this selects the highlighter. You can't change the thickness if you use this tool. The pen or marker color is chosen using the color picker tool located here. There are three color pickers that can be individually set to any color. You can touch any one of these color boxes and choose from the set of predefined colors or create your own custom color. The text tool shown here enables you to insert type text. Press and hold to choose font, font size, and border. If you want to edit an already existing text box, double tap the region and edit the text within. The insert object tool located here is one of the more convenient tools you'll be using. By touching this option, you can insert photos or videos from your iPad photo gallery or other sources like Dropbox or Box. You can also insert new photos or new videos using the iPad camera if you don't have prepared content. This will automatically insert it into your new slide. When a photo has been selected, you can scale, rotate, and crop the image before inserting it into the slide. Here is a short list of some insertable file types. To insert an audio clip, you have two options. You can insert a photo on file or an existing sound, and your iTunes library will pop up. Choose your audio clip or song, and it will automatically be inserted into your slide as an audio bar. To insert a video clip, you have two options. You can insert a video on file or you can create a new video. If you insert a new video, it will prompt you to record a clip using the iPad camera, which will then automatically be inserted onto your slide. Your inserted video or audio clip will not automatically start playing when you arrive at that slide. You will need to start recording on that slide first, then press the play button on the specific video or audio wave to activate your clip. I'll speak more on this once we get to the recording step. Another cool object you can insert into your presentation is a fully functioning web browser. You can access any website by using the search bar at the top. You can also annotate the web page by selecting the drawing tool. If you want to have a recording of you scrolling down a page or opening new links while talking, Remember to press the record button beforehand. The delete or erase tool enables you to choose objects in the slide and delete them. 
you need to select the hand tool first in order to see this icon on the bar. When this tool is activated, touch the object you want to delete and a dashed box will appear over it. Press the red X on the corner of this box to complete the process. The laser pointer tool allows you to use different styles of laser pointers to hover over objects and explain them while in recording mode. To see all laser pointer options, hold down this icon and select your preferred type. 